before we go to eat our delicious and fantastic pizza, oh, yummy, yummy! Hi friends, welcome to Toys, Toys, Toys! Today we're so excited because on this day we bring you some beautiful school utensils in form of food! Can you imagine? They're great! So, if you want to do all of these supplies, please stay with us to see the whole process! Let's go with our first trick! Oh, I'm hungry! I'm going to eat some chips! Uh-oh, there are no chips! Oh, is that a school case? Wow, it's a super idea! Your teacher may think that you're eating in class time! Shh, and you say, no, no, there are no chips, it's my school case! If you want to know how to do it, please join us and let's see the materials. A bag of potato chips, clean and empty, a piece of colored cloth, colored zippers, and hot milk glue bars. We're going to start. Here we have our bag of potato chips, clean and empty. The next step will be to disassemble it very carefully to avoid breaking it. Be careful, please! Now comes the hard part, because we will try to disarm the whole bag and prevent it from breaking it. Uh, what we discover is that this bag has a white layer that is not seen, so we're going to go by the white stripe. So that's how it has to be completely disarmed! Now that we have our bag, we will break the cloth and mark the same size as the bag of potato chips because this is going to be the bottom. It's very important that the same color as the bag. And we'll mark it with the pencil. Now we will begin to cut cloth. And well, now the next step is to stick the cloth to the bag of potatoes. Be careful, please! We continue with the same process, be careful please! Now that we put the cloth in the bag, we're going to resemble it to its original state and we're going to put some glue in the white part that was the one to take off. If you have excess cloth, don't forget to cut it! Now that we have our bag, the next step is put the yellow zipper. It's easier to stick the zipper when it's open. Be careful with the silicone. Now we're going to start to stick the other part. Well, friend, that's how our school kids done with the potato chips. Now you can put all your school supplies inside. You can also do some tricks to your classmate or your teacher oh it looks great and so adorable i want to eat them all i love lace now we're going to do our next school supply with some candies let's see the materials that we need to do this first m&m chocolate lighter jumbo crayons okay now we're going to start with the back of m&ms the first things we're going to do is to cut the top part Please be careful and use cuter because it's just a lie and we don't want to break the whole bag. Now let's put all the chocolate into a bowl and we're going to keep the empty bag. The next step is to put a zipper in our bag of M&M. We put it at the top part, just like we did with this cool case of potato chips, are you remember? We already have our bag with the zipper and the next step is the funny one! We need jumbo crayons! We're going to remove the paper that has our run and we're going to guide with M&M chocolate to take the measure for this I'll use a cutter, be careful! Once the crayon is broken, we're going to use a candle and we will start to melt the crayon with the candle flame and we're going to give it a round shape, just like an M&M chocolate! Now that we have all our crayons cut like M&M's, the next thing is color the M&M's logo into the crayons. We need to use white color to give the form that we want. It's more easy to make the M&M logo with a pencil, just check it. 
Okay, now that we have all the crayons with the M&M's logo, it's time to put them into our parts and pretend it's a bag of chocolate. And they're ready to eat them in class. No, 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 it's a joke. You can eat them. Please check out our next trick. This may seem like a simple sweet, but in reality, do you want to know what it is? Do not miss the next steps. And the materials that we need are... Pelón Pelón Rico, Mexican candy, pencil sharpener. We're going to continue with the Pelón Pelón Rico. It's already clean and empty. We've just eat the candy, lol, we're joking. <laughs> let's use scissors to make a hole, just the size of the pencil sharpener. So let's start. Cut hole by hole, and now that we cut, let's use the silicone gun and paste the sharpener to the Pelón Pelón Rico. Then we assemble this suite and our trick is ready! It's awesome and super cool! Wow, the sharpener, it really works! The incredible part is that you can save the trash in the box of the Palampolo Rico! Oh, that's awesome! Now we're going to do our next school supply. Do you want to know what had this box inside? Please stay with us! Let's see the materials that we need! A package of chewing gum, white eraser and cutter. We're going to start by getting all the gum. We need to be careful, we don't want to break it. The next step is very simple. We're going to use our eraser and we're going to make some cuts simulating that it's a chewing gum. There has to be something like that. Let's get more pieces with the same technique! We already finished making holes in the form of doors! Now that we have our eraser in the form of chewing gum, we put them in their respective holes! That's super easy! Now that we've done and now that we've finished putting the rovers in the package, we will put the cover of the box of the chewing gum! Friends, we just finished our eraser in the form of chewing gum! Yummy yummy! Let's take this to see that it works perfectly! Let's eraser this drawing! Yeah, it's so exciting! I love it! Let's make our next invention! Friends, we already did many school supplies with fake food! It's time to make one with real food! The materials that we need are chocolate M&M's, colorful clips and magnets. Now we're going to put colorful clips in our container to hide our candies. The next step is that we're going to put the magnets in this part. We're going to put glue in here. And that's how our secret hiding place looks like at the end. Wow! It's super easy to do. It takes less than five minutes to do it. How about if we go to the next trick of school supplies? Frank, can you give me some pecositas and Mexican candies? No, it's not a candy, it's a pen. Well, it's a pen in form of a sweet. Wow, that's awesome. Do you want to know how to do it? Let's see the material. A straws with sweets and color pens. Let's start by removing the color inks from the pen. Let's put soft glue on the tip. It has to be this way and we're going to let it dry. That's what we're going to do with the three straws. Then we're going to remove a few sweets from the packing so that how the color in fits the pen perfectly. Yeah, they are ready! Now let's put some glue around so the candy does not go out. Friends, we seal our pen with the silicone. We realize that it needs a little more candies. So we open the top part to put more candies and so fill our innovation. We're going to seal with silicone again and that's how our black pen looks at the end, wow! We put the color of the ink according to the color of the sweet. We have red, blue and black. Let's go with our next trick. We want to paste this image of Frito Chabot, we don't have glue. 
friend, do you have one that you can give us? Oh my god! Is that a glue? It looks like Nutella! Wow, it's a glue! It's amazing! Wow, I can't believe it! Friends, do you want to know how to do it, this glue in form of Nutella? Join us to see the transformation! The materials that we need are... Put a coffee paint, white glue. Friends, the first thing that we're going to do is empty the coffee paint so that it pretends to be the package of our Nutella. You can also do it with a transparent cover and paint it brown, uh, the way you prefer. We print this label with the Nutella logo and it's super cute, it's so tiny and it looks so real. The thing that we're going to do is paste it in our package of Nutella. The next step is to put the white glue in our package of Nutella. It's done! It looks great! Wow! It's really awesome! Let's continue with the next school project. Pizza's here! Pizza's here! Yeah, I'm so yummy! Oh, I'm so hungry! Oh my god, is that a notebook? It looks so real! Let's see the materials! The materials that we need are... French book, rule, scissors, and paperboard. Let's start marking our notebook in the form of a square. It has to be less like this. We cut this part using a squat and cut it by page by page. You have to be careful and precise when you do that. Now that we have our notebook in form of a perfect square like you see, let's make the form of the pizza package. Like you see, we have the measure here. We make them placing the notebook on the paper board, letting 5 cm space into the left and right, and the other two up 2 cm up and down. It's important to make these measures because it will simulate our pizza package. We are making a carpet and let's cut. To simulate more the package of our pizza, we made this diagonal line with 3 cm right and 2 cm up. We're gonna make it in the other corner. Okay, we have our lines and now we're going to cut. And that's how our box of pizza package looks. Now we're going to pay the notebook. Friends, we already have our pizza box with glue. The next step is to put the decoration of Domino's Pizza. Wow! Okay, the decorations are ready. Now with the spring, we will measure the size of the pan to treat it into the holes we made. And that's how the spring we will hold the pan. And that's how our pizza package looks. Wow, it really looks like a pizza box. Let's go for a pizza! I'm hungry! Yum yum yum! You're hungry! I'm starving! Friends, that's how our school supplies look at the end! They're really cool! I really want a pizza! I hope you had also fun with this video! Do not forget to like this video! Do not forget to comment on your favorite part and which school supply you like more! If you have any idea, please share with us! It's time to say goodbye! We we'll see you later! Bye bye!